Good evening. Over the years, I have had the pleasure of working with many highly involved ASV presidents, ones that continually amaze us with how much they balance and how much they achieve. This year's president took this involvement and upped the ante. She is somewhat of St. Margaret's very own United Nations dignitary, combined with a goodwill ambassador. Caroline Walters has made history as a student, a liaison, and a leader. Just weeks into her freshman year, Caroline and friends began educating our school community as to the importance of clean and accessible drinking water in impoverished countries, forming the Charity Water Club. In 2010, she combined her love of Mandarin Chinese, environmental awareness, and an entrepreneurial spirit to develop an eco-forum with schools in China. This forum, which continues to date, allows students from both the U.S. and China to have di discussions around shared environmental concerns. Caroline has also brokered a strong exchange program between number one school in Guiyang, China, and St. Margaret's. And close to home over the past two years, Caroline has shaped the leadership experience for nearly 70 elected student officers. Committed to making leadership practical, relevant, and meaningful, she wrote a proposal for work that included a faculty and student liaison committee, where both groups, faculty and students, come together and generate dialogue around issues central to our upper school culture. So what does this year's Associated Student Body President do for fun? Well, she's a fan of music, traveling to music festivals across the country, and appreciating artists from Neil Young to the White Stripes. She also enjoys the rewards that come with running long distances. Caroline sees this as time for herself and a way to seek balance and clarity with all that she takes on. As she heads off to Middlebury College next year, she will no doubt impact that campus in the same profound ways that she has in the last 15 years here at St. Margaret's. Caroline doesn't seek just to lead. She wants to enact change. I can say with certainty that she has changed us for the better, and it's only a matter of time until we want, will once again call her Madam President. <laughs> Please welcome this year's Associated Student Body President, Caroline Brady Walters. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Allison. You know, I always loved hearing the reactions from people when I told them I attend St. Margaret's. Some of the classics are, so what exactly is a tartan? Or, doesn't your headmaster kind of have a funny last name? Sorry, Mr. Hurlbut. <laughs> or, what is it like being at the same school since preschool? You know, I feel lucky to have had the opportunity to come home hysterically crying with splinters from the wood chips in the preschool playground. And I feel blessed to have experienced Mrs. Garcia in the lower school and being forced to sit on the wall during recess. I feel blessed, I feel blessed to have been given the opportunity in middle school to kneel down in my skirt and hope that I pulled it down enough just to touch the top of the soda can. And I'm not even saying that in reference to the fact that the ladies of the class of 2012 got the privilege of wearing skirts taken away before we even got to high school because quite frankly I think us girls looked phenomenal and rather empowered in our knee length Bermuda shorts and khaki pants <laughs> which I am sure all of us will rock next year at college. <laughs> what I am saying is that I feel fortunate to have had my time here at St. Margaret's extend past four years. It has made the so-called St. Margaret's bubble even smaller and the community closer. However, regardless of how many years you spent at St. Margaret's, everyone here graduating today is equally a part of this wonderful bubble. Though at times many of us felt that we could never escape the sounds of bagpipes, the St. Margaret's bubble has been the greatest thing to ever happen to us as we enter into the next metaphorical chapter of our lives. Despite all looking the same, we are able to seek refuge in the lyrics of one of our generation's greatest musical accomplishments, Teach Me How to Dougie. In Cali Swag District's critically acclaimed work of art, 
They say, you just do you, and I'ma do me. <laughs> Being trapped in this oasis of plaid forced us to express our own individuality by looking within and expressing our originality through thought, opinion, and knowledge. We did us. The students of the class of 2012 always sought for ways to make the community here a better place rather than looking for something else better. This tartan bubble encouraged us to learn more about ourselves and to dig deeper to figure out what kind of people we want to be once we leave St. Margaret's. This sort of growth takes place for most people during college, but the community here has allowed us to be one step ahead. Our teachers, deans, advisors, and administrators are the ones who helped us make this step ahead. And we owe them everything for getting us to this point. The teachers at St. Margaret's are truly special. They went beyond just teaching us the curriculum and fully invested in our lives, not just as students, but as young adults. It was my sophomore math teacher that helped me train for my first marathon. It was the lively discussions of the bright romantics in Ms. Bunch's English the Honors class that ultimately led me to my college decision. It was Mr. Parker, who not only taught me geography and government, but also taught me how to properly swing a golf club and how to discuss global issues in Mali United Nations. And it was Miss Warren, who many of us call her our second mother, who served as basically my life coach the past couple years and had endless granola bars just in case we got hungry, which happened a lot. <laughs> we cannot forget the special teachers and people at St. Margaret's that got us to this place. They have provided the most incredible foundation for us that will definitely set us apart as we transition into the next phase of our lives. I think it is also appropriate to thank our darling parents for spending an absolute fortune to send us here the past four years. And I am deeply sorry if we ever complained. Our senior gift symbolizes bringing the past of St. Margaret's, soon to be us, the class of 2012, and the future of St. Margaret's together. We have teamed up with the class of 2013 to fund a replica of our school's stained glass window in the church to be put on top of the Performing Arts Center on our right. This will serve as a constant reminder of the cohesiveness of our community, which we know will extend long after we walk across this stage today. To the ridiculously good looking class of 2012, the most valuable thing that we have gained from our St. Margaret's experience and education is each other. No matter where life may take us, we must never forget the tartan and the cross. Thank you. Woo!